Hi guys, so I finally got around to making my Samco 2 build guide video. Uh, it's going to be very similar to the Samco 1 build guide video. Um, I'll go through all the parts, uh, show you a schematic, pull apart the gun, um, and at the end we'll upload some code. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, <clears throat> so the first thing you'll need, obviously, is a Namco GunCon 2. Um, next you'll need a DF Robot IR positioning camera. Next you'll need uh, an Adafruit Itsy Bitsy. Um, the new PCBs, Samco 1 and Samco 2, both work with the whole range of Itsy Bitsies now, so you can get the 32U4, M0, M4, whatever one you like, they all work perfectly well. Uh, and then, of course, a uh, Samco 2 PCB. Um, You'll notice on, if you saw my uh, new PCB video, I've decided to um, take off the build your own sensor bar part of the PCBs. Uh, that's because you can get uh, these USB Wii sensor bars off AliExpress. Um, they're super cheap, they work really good, um, and they probably cost about the same as it would cost to make your own anyway. Uh, I'm only showing one here, but um, I do recommend doing the uh, four LED setup, uh, which is um, from my latest video. Uh, it just reduces the range that you can use your gun at, um, and it, yeah, it just works really well. So if you want to do that, grab yourself two of these Wii sensor bars. Um, also, I'll just put in a little note here. Uh, don't get the um, official Dolphin uh, sensor bars. They've got a special link that um, they'll only turn on uh, once you connect your Wiimote. So you're better off just buying the, the cheap um, just Wii USB sensor bars, I think they're called. Um, then all you need is uh, a couple of tools. So a soldering iron and some solder, uh, wire cutters, and a Phillips screwdriver. All right, uh, let's have a look at the schematic. Okay, so here's a schematic. Um, very similar to the Samco one. We've got a DF robot IR positioning camera running off I2C. Uh, this time just being powered straight off the three volts output of the Itsy Bitsy board, uh, and then once again just a whole lot of a whole lot of buttons. Uh, so how that actually looks when it's all soldered to the board is something like this. Um, so there's a ribbon cable on the left there that runs to the all the D-pad buttons and the reload button. Um, there's I've broken out a couple of pins for an optional foot pedal uh, if you want to use that. Then the B button is solid. There's that little green one down the bottom. Uh, your camera is... Uh, soldered into those broken out bits for the I2C. Uh, then there's a couple of extra um, ground pins I've broken out so that you could use, um, possibly use the spare pins on the end if you wanted to add anything else. I just wanted to have that as an option. Um, and then the the rest of the switches are uh, um, all built into the PCB. Um, so Let's um, pull one of these guns open and have a look. Okay, uh, so obviously the first thing we need to do is uh, unscrew all these little screws, uh, open up our GunCon 2 and um, see what we're dealing with. All right, once that's all open, uh, we just wanna remove a couple of these little buttons here and then this whole PCB, including the the old photo sensor, uh, the D-pad bit, and then also the reload button, will all just pop out. So let's move that out of the way for a sec. And right, so now what we want to keep is this little bit of black plastic here, which is holding our B button switch on. Um, this will just sort of pop off. There's a couple of little latches underneath. Um, so once you've managed to wiggle that free, it should just pop out. 
Uh, we just need to cut those two little black wires there. Let me just get rid of that. So there's just two little black wires here that we need to cut. And then the other thing we need to keep is everything connected to this gray ribbon cable. So we can just trim that off as well. Uh, and then what we're left with is rubbish. We can get rid of that. Right, so now that we have these two little bits, uh, let's see how we attach them to our PCB. Okay, so I've just laid everything out here before I've soldered it just to show you where everything goes. Uh, so obviously the ribbon cable goes on the left there. These two black ones go into these two little holes here. And then once we've soldered our headers onto our itsy bitsy, um, that will sit uh, right in the middle of the PCB there. Uh, just a quick note on the header pins. Uh, you might be wondering why there's only um, a shorter rack of headers on the bottom half of that uh, itsy bitsy. Uh, it's just because uh, there's a little bit of plastic on the GunCon 2 which sits right in the middle of my PCB. So uh, instead of making it that you had to cut that little bit of plastic out, um, I just decided that it would be easier to just solder on left header pins. Um, so that's why that's like that. Uh, then of course, we just have to attach a DF robot IR positioning camera to those uh, broken out pins on the end. So once that's soldered together, it should look something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's it all soldered together. Um, you can see the header pins there. Um, positioning camera all soldered in and the ribbon wire all soldered in. Um, so yeah, last thing you need to do is just um, put it all back into your gun. Um, so it should all fit back in uh, pretty nicely. Um, I might just use this as an opportunity to say uh, about the DF Robot IR positioning camera. Um, apparently some of them are labeled wrong. So um, the little part that says top is not actually at the top. Um, but a way around this, as long as the light on the DF Robot IR positioning camera is um, facing down as we're looking at it now, um, then your gun should be uh, up correctly. Um, all right, so let's have a look at some code. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through um, all the things that you need to upload your code. Um, so the first thing we're gonna need is the Arduino IDE. Uh, this is the program we use to upload our code to our microcontroller. Um, so I'll leave a link where to get this from below uh, if you don't already have it. Um, then the next thing we need to do is set that up for our uh, Itsy Bitsy board. Um, so we'll just go to the Adafruit website, search for the Itsy Bitsy board that you have purchased. Um, then you can go to the description page and scroll down until you get to learn. Uh, and then we just click on that. Uh, and this is a total overview of the board. There's actually some really good resource in here, but um, we're just gonna go to um, Arduino IDE setup um, and then there's just two pages of um, instructions of how to get your board all set up so that it um, works with the Arduino IDE. Um, and then the last thing we need, obviously, is the code. Uh, so that's stored on my GitHub. Um, again, there'll be links below to it. Um, and then we simply just download that as a zip. Uh, once that's downloaded, we just need to extract it. Uh, once that's extracted, we just need to select the code that we want. So I'm using the 4IR setup. So I'm just going to copy that whole folder, uh, paste it in the Arduino libraries folder. Uh, so once that's pasted in, uh, we'll have all these different sorts of codes here. Um, this is obviously a Samco 2.0. So we're going to open up that and then open up that sketch in our Arduino IDE. All right, so here's all the code. Um, we won't need to change anything uh, right now. Um, we just need to make sure that um, we've got our correct board selected and we're on the correct COM port. 
and then we simply click upload and that will upload our sketch to the gun. So now that it's uploaded, we're ready to calibrate. Um, so we can push the reload button on the gun con and pull the trigger, which will move the mouse cursor to the top left. Then we can point and aim at that cursor, pull the trigger again, and it'll move it to the bottom right, and then we're calibrated. Uh, we can pause the gun by pushing the calibration button again. Uh, if we want to recalibrate, we can push the calibration button and pull the trigger, go through that same thing, point to the top left, point to the bottom right, and uh, we're recalibrated. I'll just go back into the code because I wanted to just show you how you can update. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm changing the um, D-pad buttons uh, from up and down arrows uh, to uh, WASD um, setup uh, like they use in the uh, PCSX2 emulator. Um, so yeah, that's basically just wanted to show you how easy it is um, to customize it to whatever um, buttons you want your D-pad um, to do. Um, so I've just re-uploaded that there. Um, and then I'm just going to open the notebook sketch. Um, this is probably the easiest way to test your buttons. Um, so you have to calibrate first. And then um, just click into that um, text box. Um, and then it works exactly like a keyboard. So you can um, just push the D-pad buttons. Um, start and select I've still got set up as uh, return and backspace. Um, and then you can see I'm testing the left and right mouse buttons there. Um, so yeah, that's all working. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to do a um, troubleshooting guide uh, similar to how I did the for the Samco 1 setup. Um, so that's still coming. Um, I've got a couple of other ideas uh, sort of floating around as well, so keep an eye out for those. Um, as usual, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, please subscribe. Um, thanks again for all your support. And um, yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.